How's it going everybody? It's Pride here and today I am bringing you guys a new random weapon select video. Uh, if you guys did not watch the first episode, feel free to check it out. It is in the description. I just want to say thank you guys for uh, for checking out that first episode. It went down really well. I'm glad people enjoyed uh, the concept of it. I got a lot of great feedback from that first episode when it comes to ways on how to do it. So you should do it after every win, after every loss, after every single game. So we're going to try a couple different uh, formats throughout the next two episodes for this one. We're going to be doing it every time that we lose. So if you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about, watch the first episode because I'm not really going to explain. I'm just going to jump right into it and see what number I get. So we did end up getting rid of the uh, the Black Knight Greatsword. But it turns out I actually had, uh, I think it was like one or two duplicates. I think maybe one. And then I also did buy an extra sword, which was, I believe, the Lothric. Hold on, let me see which one was it. Uh, that I'd never had before, the Cathedral Knight Great, so I never had this, and I ended up buying it from the old bag at, uh, at Firelink Shrine, so I believe that I got rid of two and then added this one, so now I have 137 compared to the 138 original, uh, so I ended up having a couple duplicates in that first episode, but it's totally fine, that was the first episode, but let's go ahead and get a random number. Alright, here we go, let's see, where, where did I press again? Oh, there it is, and I am using a different side, alright, let's go fucking jump right into it. 87. Fucking 87, I gotta go all the way down? God damn it. The spiked mace? Really? Okay. I guess, uh, we're using the spiked mace today. I do not have it leveled up, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. I do have it leveled up on my uh, my bleed character, but that's uh, that's not really necessary. We'll go ahead and just level it up here. Now, I have used the spiked mace a very, very little amount on my bleed character. I tried it out. Probably one of the worst bleed weapons I've ever used. Not only that, but just in general, it is extremely slow. Uh, hits pretty hard, actually. I don't entirely know how well I'm gonna do with it, I might honestly lose right away. I believe I said after every single loss. Uh, so we're gonna end up switching possibly fucking right away. But definitely if you guys enjoyed this format, let me know. And next episode is probably gonna be after every single win that uh that i will switch by the third episode or by when the fourth episode rolls around we'll have like the official format that i actually want for this and you guys want to see most let's go ahead level this bitch up to plus nine there it is okay oh i am ready for the spiked mace to suck fucking dick right, let's go ahead and get some games all right now we actually made it outside uh one thing since i am testing stuff would you guys be cool with a shield? Do you guys want to see uh, like a shield or a Cestus or something like that for pairing uh, on my offhand? Because I feel like maybe the weapon by itself could be a little bit boring. So if you add a little bit of extra spice to it. Although I don't know if I'm going to be using this weapon one hand. It's already bad enough two handed. No one like ever gets caught by that shit. It takes up so much stamina. Look at that. This two swings takes up half my stamina. Okay, not a great start. A Pyromancer uh, as a first guy. I think. Or just some dude using a store greatsword, maybe. Because, uh, you know, once we lose, we're gonna switch this bad boy up. But I really don't want to lose. Yeah, that's the, uh, store greatsword. Is it gonna be doing one thing with the store greatsword? Look at that, man. One rolling attack that is unparryable does that much fucking damage. That it seems so unfair to me. But, uh, you know, whatever. Ah, one hit. Only one hit on him. Is he only going to try rolling attacks? Because that would suck dick. Like, he knows how easy it is to dodge this thing. He ain't worried. Yeah, we cancel his attack. One trick pony? With your rolling attacks? You ain't hitting me anymore, boy. You ain't hitting me anymore. There we go. We're able to switch up the one-handed moveset. And get him right there. Luckily, we don't have to switch just yet. Like I said, man, this thing, whenever you actually get to hit people with it, hits really hard. And I do have the gold pine resin giving it an extra little boost in damage. But then, you know, the problem is hitting people with it. And we have a washing pole. Let's go ahead and buff our weapon. All right, if you could fucking stop that now, it's fucking... That shit takes forever. Where's your running attacks? No running attack just yet. Huh. All right, he wants to try and parry this. Okay, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we. Let's see if he wants to try it again. You want to try and parrying this again? No, you don't. Well, oh, smoke a third time. No, it wasn't gonna work. He's just like very easily dodged. 
Noah. All right, swing again. Oh, I thought he was going to try to parry this thing again. No, he's not going for the parry again. He does definitely have the, uh, the range advantage on me. But I do have the, uh, the damage advantage if he wants to... Uh... Oh, I thought I could throw him off with possibly uh, R2. But you definitely should be doing. That's good if he switches to uh, something that's not a washing pole, though. Oh, hyper armor. I win in that one there. It's a good trade for Papa, Papa Prod. Oh, I was just out of range, man. Damn it. I was so close to hitting him there. I was literally just out of range. I thought that possibly I would have hit him there. Fuck. Did it really get to outrage me like by that fucking much? God, that's a lot of range. Nothing there. No. No, no, no. I think you were doing better with the washing pot. I don't know why you keep switching to that thing. I guess because it has uh, projectiles. You're no! I thought my hyper armor was going to kick in. Fuck. Uh-oh. We might have a bit of a problem here. No, he's not going to rush me. This guy? No way. Okay, now he's resorting to only running attacks because he knows that he's in trouble if he does actual attacks. Man, this guy does not get near me. Fuck it, just rush him down, right? Oh my god, I was just out of range on that one. Fuck! How is it that the that fucking actual washable gets... Look at that thing. This shit has so much more range for some reason than I did. God damn, man. GG, man. GG. Now we get to switch weapons. I don't know what we're going to get now, but uh, I have a feeling it's going to be much worse. So now we go ahead and put away the spiked mace and the weapons. We'll go down. Actually, I had to unequip it. 137 to 136. All right. Now we go ahead and try with 136. And the number we get is 64. I feel like every number has involved six or four. I mean, is that Onikiri Nobudachi? Is that what I got? Did I get Onikiri Nobudachi? Let me just make sure I counted every right. Because you got to make sure. I guess I got Onikiri Nobudachi. Oh my god. Yes. Onikiri Nobudachi. So, I did something really dumb. When I actually put the numbers into a random number generator, I ended up putting 138 instead of 136. So I ended up getting Onikiri no Badachi with the 138 number, and I was supposed to have 136. So uh, I fucked up. I'm not going to get to use Onikiri no Badachi, but we'll go ahead and redo it with the actual numbers this time and see what we get. All right, 136 is in. Let's go ahead and see what we get. 60. Straight up 60. Um, Onikiri no Badachi was 64, I believe. So, it should be right here. The washing pole? Is that it, right? Let me just make sure. Exactly the washing pole. Okay. Wow, the washing pole. I used this weapon since I uh, did my Golden Ninja series, man. Have not used it since then, so I guess we'll see how we do. And this time I won't just fucking resort to running attacks. Let's go ahead and summon somebody else. Well then, the washing pole. Will we close it out with the washing pole? I don't... I don't entirely know. I don't think I'm very good with this thing. I have not used it in fucking months. Luckily, I did have it, uh, did have it leveled up since I, uh, I did my Golden Ninja series. And here we have a Gunder. He's not a Gunder. He is just, uh, using the Glaive, I believe. The Black Knight Glaive. Oh, is that just the regular Glaive? He also has a shield, so I don't know if he's, uh, if he uses that shield constantly, I'll probably buff my, uh, buff my weapon and use a lightning to go right through his fucking thing. Needed a good opening move. I guess I kind of forgot this thing has, uh, like, uh, yeah, I know what you're trying to do, buddy. Saw that. Saw that coming from a mile away. That delayed running attack. I could do it, too. Ah, uh, I thought I would hit him twice. I guess not. And he did take out his, uh, shield now. Ooh, went in there, got a swipe, man. Oh, it was too early on the parry. I don't know why I tried that. To actually parry him. If you want to try that weapon arts again, I'm uh, I'm game, buddy. Did they really try to go around the backstab me multiple times. Man, this thing does a lot of fucking damage, man. Oh my god, I didn't cancel his attack. I didn't cancel his attack. I thought I would. 
I thought I would have canceled this fucking attack, man. Damn it. And he got me with the full thing, too. Do it again so I can parry you. Fucking do it again, dude. I don't know why this guy's, like, going around trying to backstab me like crazy. I should probably two-hand this thing. I feel like it would be much better if he's hiding behind this gigantic shield. That's a giant fucking shield, man. I wonder how, uh... I forgot about my R2 pokes, man. I've, like, barely been using them. Oh, I thought I would have hit him there. Guess not. Almost didn't dodge that. It seems like I'm... Oh, I don't want to risk parrying him, though. I'll parry that, though. I'll parry that for sure. Bye-bye! <laughs> That's death, right? That is death. Good game, man. Good game. That was extremely close. I kind of saw what he was doing. He would just block my attack and then like hit right after that. So I thought maybe I could hit him twice and then he would block it and then immediately hit and I would try to go for a parry. But I didn't want to risk it with the little bit of low health that I had. But typically without running weapon arts, I parry it every single time. Like I feel like I could usually get the parry on it 90% of the time, but I do go for the parry. 100% of the time. There's times where it does get me though. There's times where I just fall right in that thing's clutches and absolutely fucking destroys me. Does this thing make you feel inferior? It should. What weapon is that? Is that Lorian's blade? I was able to arrange it. it Cancels attack as well. Oh, he canceled my attack. He canceled my attack. What the fuck was that? What was that? This guy just shot fucking jizz out of his body. Oh, I tried to go for the parry. Did not come out just right for me. Is he gonna try it again? Oh, crap. Man, I almost got hit there. Let's see what you're trying to do, buddy. I saw that. I saw that coming from a mile away. I have no fucking clue. I've never seen that in my life. Well, if he's just going to be doing that, then I'll just do that. Okay, GG, man, GG. That was fucking close. Exodius. Exodius. Exadius? What the fuck kind of name is that, man? Why can't you do something simple like Bob or Jimmy? Since I do want this to be a shorter series, at least around probably the time that I'm at now and I'm in the middle of a match, so it's not going to end now. I don't entirely know how much I've recorded so far. I believe it's been only like 20 minutes, but I usually cut that down. Seedless Picker, I believe his name is. And he's got the Old Wolf Curve Sword as well, which I absolutely love. The Old Wolf Curve Sword is a masterpiece weapon. I thought that maybe he would have fallen for that. Seems like he's trying to parry bait. Kind of. Oh my god, I parried, but I didn't get him. What? How did I not get the fucking parry there, dude? That was like fucking perfect. I mean, if you want to block, I'll guard break you right now with my fucking big foot. Now, no, no stamina for you, huh? Oops, I did not mean to turn myself around like that. Don't want to accidentally fucking heal. Let's go ahead and take that off. Ah, uh, what the fuck just happened there? He did the fucking forward moonwalk towards me, and I had I did get no fucking damage. What the shit? This guy's going for the parry with a fucking medium shield, really? Man, I really should have gotten the parry back then, I think. I feel like that was absolutely fucking perfect. But when the connection's not on and it's like not fucking perfect, then you just do not get the parry. No matter how fucking perfect it is, you're not going to get a parry if it's not fucking absolutely perfect the connection. I am busting out the uh, weapon art is possibly doing it a bit too much. Well, that's fine. Oh, I probably should not have done that. Now we are one hit from death and he's going to resort to throwing knives. If he resorts to throwing knives, I will resort to running attacks because that's kind of like, uh, I think I, it could take maybe one throwing knife. Okay, he's going up with a shield. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, I thought that was going to hit me for sure. Can't do that, buddy. Is he going to do his weapon arts? I'm all out of juice, so I can't do my weapon. Oh my god, I tried running backwards and it did the stupid reverse step shit. Oh my god, that's such a stupid fucking mechanic in Dark Souls 3. Why couldn't they just made it smooth, run forward, and then immediately be able to turn around quickly? Like in fucking Dark Souls 2. Why? What is the point of that? 
Oh, that is so fucking dumb. But anyways, that guy definitely got me. GG, man. Well, we're back at the bonfire. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed to support the series. Next time, we're going to be doing every single win. We switch. And I'm hoping that we get something that, uh, that takes us a while to actually get a win so we can actually struggle. But next time, I will try to get it in more, uh, more PvP matches and less fucking talking. Now that people, I feel like people will understand the format of the random weapons. So, like, we immediately jump right into what fucking number we get. That's the weapon we have. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys later. Peace, everybody. Do the fucking running attack.